Our OG and favorite Marvel show, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., aired its last episode in August 2020. It's been almost three years now, and we're still not over it. And can you guys really blame us? That show is unmatched in many ways, so they occasionally had us wondering why they didn't have major crossovers with the movies. So, today, let's get that answer. Let's go! First off, let's talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The iconic bunch that was the S.H.I.E.L.D. team produced an action-packed punch. And honestly, we're still stuck with the image of Phil Coulson and Captain America pairing up to lead their teams to victory. The combo of Wanda and Daisy alone would have been to die for. So naturally, we need to ask Marvel why oh why were we robbed of such a sight? The ABC original series, which debuted in 2013, was promoted as having a direct relationship with the MCU films. But as we all know, the movie soon progressed without any link to the TV show, and the early established ties faded away too. That served as our first clue to let go of any hope to see Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Phil Coulson, Daisy Johnson, or our very dynamic Fitzsimmons would appear on the big screen. In the end, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was cancelled in 2020, and our worst case scenario was now a reality. Our TV screen heroes never received their big screen debuts. Crying, screaming, throwing up. Up next, why didn't the agents feature alongside our Avengers? Well, we have an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. star explain exactly why it's for the best that the characters never appeared in an MCU film. Let's see if he can rectify the situation to our satisfaction. The lack of AOS and Avengers crossovers wasn't due to no demands or requests. Nope, it was a little more technical than that. Technical. We never liked this word. And the technicality for this little problem was, drumroll please, scheduling issues. Honestly though, scheduling alone has robbed us of pretty legendary cinematic moments that just never happened. Ian DeSeesticker, who plays Fitz, was asked if he hoped to appear in the MCU films during a recent interview with Collider. Just imagine Fitz, Simmons, and the Avengers Tony Stark and Dr. Banner. Holy moly, we'd pay good money to see what magic these four create. The Leo Fitz actor acknowledges that creating that combo would have been very cool, but at the same time, he was very content with the number of crossovers, or the lack thereof, that did occur on the sets of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Next, apparently the cast really enjoyed their little circle. The Scottish actor went ahead to explain exactly why he was content without any big screen coverage. The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. cast really adore their little bubble. The show became theirs, like their project, without ties to the wider MCU. Although it's true that if the opportunity had presented itself, he's well aware that any of them would have seized it because at the end of the day, it was an achievement, another fun experience. But it wasn't something that they considered to be missing, so they were content. And one thing's for sure, there would have been a riot if they had added any more shooting days, because the cast was always working on the show, and that alone allowed the personas of every agent to develop properly, and keeping the movie separate gave the audience much more to choose from. So all in all, Ian thinks it was a win. Besides, some characters crossed over onto their own show, which turned out to be a wonderful experience on its own. Tell us in the comments if you know who we're talking about. Now, will characters from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. make a comeback in the MCU? Listen, we realize we're grasping at straws here, but can you truly blame us? Yes, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were last seen in the finale more than two years ago. Yes, the storylines have long since moved. And yes, an entirely new phase has begun. But the heart wants what it wants, alright? And we have the might of the fans behind us, who are still clamoring for them to return. The demand from the fan base for the Agents to return in a future MCU film is as high as it was when the show was dishing out fresh new episodes every week. And no folks, we're not kidding. But what is it that the audience is most invested in? The focus of the majority is on Chloe Bennett's Quake. And you know what? We can totally see it happening. Next, is the multiverse the answer? Daisy needs to make her well-deserved MCU film debut, and the Quake fans are quaking to see it happen. And some recent changes in the Marvel Universe have us thinking that it might just be a possibility. With the return of Daredevil actors Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio as Daredevil and Kingpin, Marvel Studios has already set the precedent that it's feasible to bring back the OG actors. That and Kevin Feige steadying the ship has rekindled the hopes of many that one day he'd bring back some of the show's most popular personas. And perhaps the answer to all our problems is the multiverse. We don't know about you guys, but we for one would be ecstatic to witness the full madness that the multiverse unlocks. It can allow our heroes to reappear in different iterations without having to worry about breaking their original storyline. Several characters from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., including Daisy Johnson, Melinda May, and the team deserve the chance to return and continue playing in the big leagues. We have a feeling that the new audience would be more than welcome. What do you guys think? Coming up, why is the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. the GOAT show? We're not just shooting blanks here, guys. After binging through all the new Disney Plus MCU TV series, and even after Phase 4, we're convinced that none of them match the level of the GOATness that is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Our iconic and multiple times resurrected Agent Coulson is played by Clark Gregg in the ABC TV series that was created 
created as a spin-off of the Avengers, and the rest, as they say, is history. And while the AOS was a hit, the other TV ventures by the MCU, not so much. Marvel Television was officially shut down in December 2019 and switched entirely to Disney+, Plus. and soon the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. bode farewell as well. But despite everything, our show here decided that if they were to go home, they'd go out with a bang. You guys would be shocked to know that a plot in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7 that aired two years ago might have foreshadowed the MCU's Phase 4 multiverse saga. Will we ever stop marveling at the marvel that is the MCU? We think not. Next, the show evolved too. While the MCU TV shows continued, no one from the franchise reached out to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and none of the shows could match their prowess either. Perhaps it resulted from Marvel Television's constant subordination to the movies or other behind-the-scenes fact. After a bit of a shaky beginning, Marvel Television's writers realized they needed to prioritize character arcs, and that's exactly what they did. The season span, as compared to the two-hour movie mark, provided some leeway to properly dig into a meaningful character journey as well. The second the writers made that leap, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. emerged as the greatest of all time. Now, let's talk about character arc. A prime example of a well-formed character arc is Daisy, the transformation of a rebel hacker persona of Sky into a badass S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Daisy, who had not only reunited with her parents, but also fostered a family of her own with the team. Oh, and the earth-shaking superhero powers were just a fringe benefit she picked up along the way. That and then May finding love with Coulson. And the ever turbulent relationship of Fitzsimmons that not only defied odds but also time and space. And to think that we're not even exaggerating. Oh, and we can never forget how the lonely boy with steamy looks, Agent Ward, turned out to be an agent of Hydra. A plot twist for the ages, if we're being honest. Yeah, the audience has every right to stay hooked even after two years of the finale. Quake continued to thrive, with storylines examining loss, survivor's guilt, and even a time travel narrative in which she faced the potential of destroying the Earth. Listen, guys, the whole multiverse of madness saga, our agents have already been through it and won. Yeah, these guys are really gonna say, been there, done that, if they saw what's happening right now. Following up, is it fair to compare Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with the current MCU TV shows? Now, we realize we've been going on and on about how the AOS has reached a benchmark that many other programs lack, but the question is, are the two even comparable at this point? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. had an entire seven years to foster and build on their storylines and audiences. While they did do a spectacular job, it's also also true that none of the other productions have received that kind of time yet. They haven't been around for that long. And you know what they say, you should not compare your chapter 2 to someone else's chapter 20 or something like that. You get the gist, right? If we're being honest, only one live action Marvel Studios program has received a second season renewal. While that alone speaks volumes, the point still stands. But either way, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will continue to hold the title of best Marvel TV program for a while at least. And lastly, let's talk about the flaw in the plan. Many times S.H.I.E.L.D. has propped up to save the Avengers in times of need. The age of Ultron, anyone? Now, while some may argue that the show is unlikely to ever match the Marvel Cinematic Universe, simply because the fundamental philosophy would be too out of place. It's also true that one can't survive without the other, and quite honestly, we think of the MCU writers as our real-life heroes without capes. They can make anything happen and still make it make sense, but the heart of the matter remains. The MCU is littered with ironies, but the best of all is its interconnectedness. None of the storylines can ever be finished on the their own, so it'll be fun to see how or if they bring the agents in and tie it all together. And with that, that's a wrap on this video. Let us know in the comments below what you think made Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a GOAT show. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.